Your friends are having a Tupperware party, and you're invited. Hello! It's a sunny hello, it's a smile and a laugh in the company of friends. It's learning and sharing with people who care in the company of friends. You're in the company of friends. A Tupperware party is new products and ideas, but it's also friends. You're in the company of friends. Tupperware. Company of friends. Tupperware. We're so glad to have you in the company of friends. Tupperware. Your friends are having a Tupperware party, hello. and you are invited. It's a sunny hello, it's a smile and a laugh in the company of friends. You're in the company of friends. Tupperware. Company of friends. A Tupperware party is new products and ideas. It's also friends. You're in the company of friends. Tupperware. You know, working with Tupperware is very rewarding. It's a chance to grow. It's a special career in the company of friends. It's a helping hand that's always here in the company of friends. Come and join the company of friends. Tupperware the company of friends. Call and ask a friend about it. You're in the company of friends. Tupperware. St. Louis firefighters who battled a fire tonight at the old Gateway Hotel. The five alarm fire at the unoccupied building took about two hours to bring under control. Three firefighters suffered minor injuries trying to put out the flames. The blaze apparently started in the basement of the 18-story building, which had been slated for renovation. The people running Kemper Arena, which is losing money for the city, may find themselves turning away business. Rock concerts at Kemper Staple have come under fire by a small religious group. But as Doug Sutoff reports, the group now has the support of at least one city councilman. Sometimes, action at rock concerts moves outside the auditorium, like during Alice Cooper's Kemper Arena show one week ago. Why? 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 Because they put on a show like this? As we showed you then, parents worried about rock's alleged drug, violence, and satanic impact on the young picketed outside Kemper. Some of those protesters met with Councilman John Sharp this week. Sharp says those 20 or so people want an ordinance establishing a citizens review committee. A committee to screen which rock groups may play at city-run Kemper and municipal auditorium. Rock promoter Chris Fritz calls the idea unconstitutional and sees legal problems. I think the city had a, would have a hard part because then they would, they'd have lawsuits probably from a lot of bands that they would turn down from discrimination. Councilman Sharp agrees. The city asks for trouble by banning rock groups. Instead, he wants to use some clean print to control what goes on at rock concerts. We could require that group to sign a contract that they would not promote illegal activity and to require them to put up a performance bond which could would be forfeitable if they violated. Sharp asked city staff to review legality of his proposal, hopes for an answer within a month. Meanwhile, the music of groups like Iron Maiden, scheduled for a municipal auditorium concert next month, mean money for city coffers. It's penny wise and pound foolish to try to make a few bucks off bringing a rock group in that promotes drug use. But Chris Fritz doubts rock and roll, no matter how gross, leaves America's youth twisted. It's a show. I mean, it's uh, a lot of this is all make-believe. Doug Sutoff, Action for Nightcast. Richard Berkeley, a Republican, continues to pile up important...
Well, I go in with you, kiddo, but, you know. Yeah, no, uh, it's okay, Dad. Okay, call and tell us you got there, okay? Yeah, sure. Okay. Young man. Yeah, hi. I'm Terry Warner, the new children's counselor. Um, I'm supposed to be Mr. Smiley. Oh, really? Well, I can't wait to tell him. Have a seat. Oh. Terry Warner's here. Oh, good. Show him in. What did his mother tell you about him? Oh, my Nice kid, quiet, plays classical violin. Oh, really? Well, a Ziggy Ziggy Sputnik lookalike is sitting outside in the lobby waiting for us to hire him as our daycare counselor. What are you talking about? Huh? Ziggy Ziggy Sputnik. Show water in here. No, we cannot hire this kid to be in charge of our guest school. We need to be a disaster. What's the matter with you? His mother's school is sending us the biggest conference we've had all year. Hi, Terry. Welcome to... Hello, Mr. Smiley. I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, uh, yes. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I forgot about the moose. No, that's okay. Uh, this is Phyllis Brooks, hotel manager. Hi. Uh, we met. Hi. Well, Terry, uh, why don't you check in and, uh, go to work at 8 o'clock in the morning? Great, great. Thank you, thank you, sir. Max, we cannot put a punker in charge of our nursery. The guests will be up in arms. Seems like a nice enough kid. Phil, we cannot afford to risk losing this conference. It's been a slow year. I'll tell you what, we'll give him a try. If it doesn't work out, we have a legitimate reason to fire him. I can't understand why his mother never said anything about his looks. 
Well, I can. Hey, hey, kid, take it easy. Yes. That can't be the new counselor you promised us. I'm afraid it is. Oh, no need to be concerned, Mr. Green, Mrs. Rose, Mrs. Saunders. Uh, he's a classical violinist, the son of a college professor, and uh, he has the highest references. No, he looks dangerous. I assure you, Mr. Green, he isn't. Certainly, Dr. Warner. I'll book seven additional suites for your group. Thank you. And we may need more. Oh, wonderful. Now, remember, Smiley, I want the best of everything. This conference is very important. The chairman of our board is our keynote speaker. Don't worry, Professor Cameron. Conferences are our business. Everything will be fine. Mr. Smiley, what were you saying about Terry? Is there some problem? Oh, no, no, it's just he he wasn't exactly what we expected. Well, I told you, he hasn't had that much experience. Well, no, he's doing fine. In fact, why don't you talk to him yourself? Would you transfer this call to Terry Warner's room? Thank you. Hello. Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. How you doing? Oh, terrific. Yeah, no, no, really. Um, hey, thanks for the tour. You're welcome, honey. Uh, do you need any more? Um, no, no, I'm doing great. Hey, um, guess what? I, I got a weekend job with a local band. Well, that's wonderful. Um, look, I have to go, but we'll call you on Sunday. You can talk to the whole family. Um, yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Screaming brats tearing through the halls. Gotta give this kid a turn. I know. He makes me so uncomfortable, Max. He's getting weirder looking every day. You know, I just don't understand why he's doing it. Oh, me either, but if his parents can put up with him for the whole year, I guess we can take him for one summer. I suppose. Besides, it's only a few more days to the conference. Adam? Oh, Louise, good. You've got the posters. Yeah. Uh, here are the photos Smiley sent me of their suites. Oh, they look good, don't they? No, oh, I don't trust them. A good 35 millimeter camera lens can make any two by four room look like the Taj Mahal. Adam, the Espinor Hotel depends on repeat business. I don't think they do that. Come on, Louise. Don't be naive. Now, I want you to go up there ahead of time. Remember. We want zero defects on this mission. Aye, aye. Now, let's see those posters. You know, Louise, the success of your seminar determines the board's vote on your full professorship. I know that. The 
Day My Kid Went Punk. We'll return after these messages. Coming this Friday from the First Kids Network, it's the Valentine's Day Half Hour Special from two brothers with the same first name, Pete and Pete, caught in a bizarre love rectangle between a best friend, a math teacher, a squid, and a bully named Open Face. It's Valentine's Day, the Pete and Pete way. Why? Here's why! Be here for Pete and Pete's Valentine's Day Massacre this Friday at 7.36, 30 Central, only on Nickelodeon. To remind your parents that Tuesday is Kids Night at Pizza Hut, try magic. Where did that go? Whoa! And if that doesn't work, call Cousin Norman. <laughs> Make it great! It's Darkwing Duck. I am a master of mystery. You can help PW solve mysteries at Pizza Hut with the Darkwing Pizza Pack. You get a personal pan pizza with your favorite topping, one of two cool cups, and crime fighter kits, all for $2.99. Yes! Turtles. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? I never made it without biting. Ask Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, two, three, three. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. separately. You put her out together. New from Mattel. Now back to special delivery and the day my kid went punk. Where's the counselor? Oh, that's me. <laughs> Can I help you? You? That's impossible. No respectable hotel would hire someone like you to take care of children. What's outrageous. I'm calling the manager. Hey, Terry, what's the commotion? What's going on? Mr. Smiley, well, this lady just came in. She's a little upset. What's going on is that the nitwits who run this hotel have hired this, this delinquent to take care of children. But I've just called the manager, and she's on her way. Well, I can tell you, madam, that I am the owner of this hotel, and that Terry here is no delinquent. In fact, he's worked here all summer. We've not had one complaint. So if you don't mind, I'll ask you to leave the nursery so that Terry can get started with his day. I was told this hotel had some class. Obviously, I was mistaken. I'm Phyllis Brooks, the manager. Can I help? I thought I could prevail upon you to hire a proper counselor. Apparently, I cannot. Who is that? Mrs. Rehnquist. Robert Rehnquist's wife? Hey, look, I'm sorry, Mr. Smiley. Hey, thanks for sticking up for me. If you're really sorry, Terry, scrub your face, wash that guck out of your hair, and try looking like a normal human being. Hotel is gorgeous. I'm so glad Cameron's desk became a few days early. It's like a real vacation. Mm. Mm. I think the nursery's right down here. Terry will be so surprised. Terry? I wasn't expecting you until Monday. What are you doing? You shouldn't play dress up with the children like this, Terry. It's not a good role model. Yeah, a clown makeup would be more appropriate. This is a. This is my new image. What? Well, this is the way I dress now. Yeah. It's my new look. Well, what was wrong with the old one? You go with my new music. Your music is different too. You got any more surprises? 
Dad, what? I told you I was playing with a rock band. I thought you said pop band. It's the same difference. Um, look, I gotta get back to work now. No, All right, can't. we'll uh, discuss this at lunch. No. I can't. Um, we're taking the kids to the museum for the day. Uh, dinner, then. Usually, you eat the guys at the club. Look, maybe you understand this better if you come out and see our show. We're playing at the alley on Main Street. I'll reserve a table for you. All right. We'll talk afterwards. To us. Relax. Without the earring and the makeup, he won't look that bad. And what do we do with his hair? Get him a wig? Not a bad idea. Tom, it's nothing to joke about. My job is on the line. Cameron is going to blow a gasket when he sees Terry, and I will be the laughing stock of the conference. Uh, Louise, please relax, okay? Yeah. Terry, come here. Good. Uh, we, we were just uh, talking about you. Um, how'd you like the show? Well, it's not our kind of music, but, uh, obviously you're having some success with it. Oh, yeah, Dad, the best. Honey, it's pure, unadulterated noise. Now, how can you stand that stuff after playing Mozart and Puccini? Louise, Terry, why are you doing this? It's cool, Dad, you know, it works for me. Well, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't have to, Mom. Really? Oh. Well, you don't happen to be in the world all by yourself, Terry. You do have a family to consider. I thought you always said different was okay. Oh, I knew you'd throw that one up to me someday. It's like last year, you dyed your hair from brown to yellow. I don't remember a family conference about it. Nobody had a fit either. Terry, that's hardly the same thing. Exactly. There was no shock value in what I did with my hair. Don't you know what Professor Cameron is going to say when he sees you? Yeah, the guys were right. You know, all you care about is what other people think. You don't care about me. You never did. But, Terry, oh, son, you know that's not true. All right, all right, all right. We're all a little overtired and overwrought by today's supplies. Let's sleep on it and get together in the morning. Then I gotta work it in. All right, lunch. Fine with me. Oh, let's see. Louise, I'm not being calm. I'm just trying to understand what's going on here. We've obviously failed him somehow. Well, don't start that, okay? I'm the psychologist. Terry is the best adjusted of the three kids. Not anymore. <laughs> Very funny. Look, it's a phase. You said so yourself. He'll grow out of it. Before the conference? It's not very likely. Well, we just have to send him home. We can't do that. He's got a job. Remember what we taught him about being responsible? But we can't be seen with him during the conference. We'll have to pretend we don't know him. Louise, you can't really mean that. Besides, it'll never work. Well, have you got a better idea? Yes, Louise, I'll tell you what I tell my clients. The best way to handle a crisis is to face it head on. Listen, it stopped raining, so why don't you bring the kids outside for a change? Um, yeah, I am. Going down to the crowd. Uh, hey. Uh, 
I thought that was just a theater day the, the makeup. Yeah, well, it was, but I decided I like it. Why? It makes me look cool. It makes you look awful. Listen. You're a nice kid. Why do you make it so hard for people to see that? See, you don't understand, Mr. Smiley. I mean, it's like, looking like this, people pay attention before nobody even knew I was alive. There's got to be an easier way. You're Terry Warner, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Could you get us into the alley Friday night? We called, but they said it was all full. Um, yeah, sure. Just come to the door and ask for me. Great. Thanks. OK. <laughs> Bye. See you later. All right, OK, but you can't hide behind this mask for the rest of your life. I mean, you got to let people see the real you sometime. Well, this is the real me. Just change the wrapping. See you later. Okay, ride some horses today, huh? Here we go. I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Franklist. I just can't let Amy ride. It's too dangerous. But surely you have one horse that's gentle enough for her to ride. We could strap her on. Well, strapping on is a bad idea. Besides, our insurance company won't allow it, ma'am. Well, maybe, maybe in a little while when they all go to lunch, I'll take her out a couple times myself. Thank you so much. We'll just wait over there. Okay. Come on, sweetheart. Hi. I'm Terry. Do you remember me? You know, there's some special places in the city where the horses know how to handle people who can't use their legs. You could learn to ride real well. I'm sure your mom here will take you. Of course. As soon as we get back home, we'll look into it. Thank you, young man. I don't want to go to a special place. I want to go here with the other kids. I don't want special things in special places. I want to be like everybody else. You know, that's funny what you said about wanting to be like everybody else. Because I think being like everybody else is really boring. I mean, look at me now. I've gone to a lot of trouble not to look like everyone else. And I love it. I mean, you know, even though a few people like your mom here think I'm a little wacko. Do you like the way I look? You mean it really with the red hair, the makeup, everything? You think I'd even put a green would be too much there? I think you're beautiful. I think you're beautiful, too. I'll tell you what. You wait here with your mom. I'll be back in a little while, okay? okay? So, are you pleased with the attendance at the conference? Very. I think we'll have close to 300 people from all over the world. Well, it sounds like your seminar is a sellout. And you've certainly been getting a lot of fresh coverage with your topic. Uh, do you have any children? No. Uh, I mean... That Soviet nuclear accident in the Ukraine created fallout today in Chicago. Not radiation, not that kind of fallout. This was a purely economic reaction. U.S. investors betting tens of millions of dollars on grain and livestock futures. Simply put, investors were assuming today that radioactive fallout is contaminating Soviet wheat, pastures, cattle, and hogs, and that in weeks to come, the Soviets will have to buy those commodities here in the United States. Certainly, there are questions, not only about Soviet food supplies, but about the impact of drifting radiation on Poland and Scandinavia, and whether food exports from those countries have been or will be affected. What we're dealing with, after all, is not just what the world knows, but what it believes. Not reality, perhaps, but perception of reality. Where, amid official Soviet announcements, Western intelligence reports, and global rumors, where is the truth? We begin with this report from Don Clanstrom. When these 50 passengers arrived in Vienna today, they were met not by friends and relatives, but by officials with Geiger counters. They are the first evacuees, dependents of Western workers in the Soviet Union, on a special flight from Minsk. Everyone was immediately tested for possible radiation. Everyone. Passengers said they'd seen nothing to indicate a major disaster, but were relieved nonetheless. And we were sitting the whole night on the telex, and 
at 4 o'clock in the morning we got information that all women and children will be brought home. When asked if any passengers had suffered from contamination, doctors were uncertain. Well, it could be, I, I don't know. Uh, but one, one can't say. Based on this Soviet photo, it's hard to say much of anything. The picture, released today, purports to show the nuclear fire under control. But a U.S. satellite photo suggests otherwise, and that a second reactor in the complex may be burning. As the cloud of radiation grows, so too does anxiety throughout Europe. Radiation levels in at least half a dozen countries are three to 20 times above normal. Not a serious health hazard, according to officials, but cause for serious concern nonetheless. Especially in Poland, where a crash program was launched to provide anti-radiation medication for children. Precautionary doses of iodine solution were being given to all those under 16. In Sweden, aircraft with missile-like pods were used to collect radiation samples at high altitudes. There was testing on the ground, too. Although experts say radiation levels in Sweden are not harmful, and in fact are falling, many people are not convinced. I'm concerned, yes. I'm worried about what's going to happen if the wind turns around back more to, to Sweden. I get angry on, on uh, like, Russia that doesn't say anything. The Swedish government, which is banning imports of fresh vegetables from Eastern Bloc countries, is upset as well. We have asked for detailed information with regard to the nature and the scope of the catastrophe so that we can take the right actions to, to take care of all our own people here. We have so far not received an answer. There are no answers either to questions about Swiss cheese. Scandinavian crackers, Norwegian salmon, Russian caviar, popular exports. Could they be contaminated? Experts in the United States say the testing for radioactivity in food is imprecise. In this country, we have certain guidelines as to how much radioactivity is uh, allowed in food. The Russians may have a different guideline, and the Poles, Polish people may want to import food here. And I imagine there will be a dispute and a disagreement as to what level of uh, contamination is uh, acceptable. The Chicago commodities market, which soared to record highs today, is already betting on a Soviet crop failure. But that's not the message the Soviet government is putting out, not the signal being picked up here. At the British Broadcasting Corporation's monitoring facility near London, Officials say the picture Soviet radio and television is putting out is distinctly lacking in hard details concerning the disaster. One had, I think, hoped once they started to talk about it that there, that there would be rather more than there has been. This evening, Soviet television repeated the claim that only two people have died. They assured viewers all is under control that farms and factories in the area are working normally, that Western reports about the disaster are untrue. The Soviet population is used to the effect that the Soviet government doesn't tell them very much. When there's a disaster, when there's something like this, it's normal for the government to say nothing until the situation is under control. Today in London, following a meeting with Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, Soviet Ambassador Leonid Zamyatin tried to assure others the situation is now stable, but no one was buying it. This what about the, the reports over here, Ambassador, that uh, several thousand people have been killed in the accident? That's not true. That's not true. Mrs. That's not true. Mrs. Thatcher annoyed that you didn't tell the West earlier about this accident? Well, we informed the government of the United Kingdom this morning about this accident officially. But Moira Bremner, whose daughter is one of about 70 British students about to be evacuated from the Soviet Union, is skeptical of Soviet assurances the situation is safe. I don't feel that I can be entirely sure that the radiation levels which are being talked about in the areas where my daughter is, both presently in Kiev and in the area she's passing through when she goes to Moscow and in Moscow itself, are necessarily accurate readings and correct. And because of that, I don't feel that I'm going to be sure that she has not been exposed to an excessive dose of radiation until she's home and I've had her go through proper checks. Her daughter, along with other students, is due to arrive here tomorrow evening. But the answers many seek about the disaster itself promise to be much longer in coming. This is Don Cladstrup for Nightline in London.
Starburst and hold on to your taste buds. Starburst. It's the wildest orange. orange. Strawberry. Strawberry. Lemon. Lemon. And wildest cherry taste. Starburst. It's a burst of refreshing fruit flavor. Naturally not officially flavored. Wow. Come share the wonderful world of Disney. Look at this. Soon this street will be teeming with people, oh. tasting exotic foods from all over the world. Thank you. Is it good? Mm, good and spicy. <laughs> now Anne is about to experience a problem that's universal. Please, Harp, I've got heartburn. Can you beat that? As a matter of fact, I can. Pepto for heartburn? Sure. As Pepto coats, it soothes heartburn, as well as upset stomach and diarrhea. Oh, I didn't know you could talk. I can't. Pepto-Bismol, the one that coats, is the only one you need. It's the newest treat from Dairy Queen, the Blizzard. Specially priced this week for just $1.39, the treat so thick you gotta spoon it up. Get a Blizzard made with a Butterfinger, a Heath Bar, cookies. The choice is yours. The 16-ounce Dairy Queen Blizzard, only $1.39 at your participating Dairy Queen stores. And now, 30 seconds of common sense. How to decide whether to get a new Hyundai or to wait. If you go to your Hyundai dealer now, you can drive out in a new Excel, thoroughly equipped from $49.95. Or you can wait. I suggest that you rush to your Hyundai dealer because life is what's happening while you're waiting. Test drive the new Excel now at your Greater Portland Hyundai dealers. We sell cars that make sense. So hurry. Join that crispy cereal, Lewis? Mm-hmm. Mm, side corn, side rice, sure makes it crispy. But the corn's crispy. Why, once I ate a bowl in Dugan's apple juice. The crunch from the corn side shook the tree so that now, come second time, Dugan's don't need lead. Just to crunch the corn side of crispy. Grandpa said turn the rice side was crispier. Rice side? You're thinking the kid over in Milford. <laughs> I've heard it. Have you heard it? It's about Kit Kat. Oh, it still has just one and a half calories, but it does something amazing. It refreshes your breath a long, long, long time. Believe it or not, one little Kit Kat will actually refresh your breath for an hour and a half. Imagine, a whole hour and a half. You know something? Kit Kat refreshes you so long, maybe they should call it Tic Tac. Tic Tac, a one and a half hour, one and a half calorie breath mint. Introducing SunWorld's $99 Sunsaver Fare. Fly to some cities for just $66. We're turning the airline business upside down. Call SunWorld or you're traveling. The California Avocado. It's a short order cook. California Avocados. They're ripe with possibilities. Burger King celebrates real chicken cooked in 100% vegetable oil. The Chicken Tenders Meal Combo. Get all white meat chicken tenders, large fries, and a medium Pepsi. All in one convenient pack. Ain't nothing like the real thing. Chicken Tenders Meal Combo. Now at Burger King. It'd be a shame to miss it. What's the easiest part of my job? Finding just the right product. Like this Permabilt Skyview Medicine Cabinet and Matching Light Bar for just the right price at Silver Square. The Permabilt Skyview is only $84. You get top quality double mirror doors on self-closing hidden hinges. Plus easy to clean adjustable shelves. The whole cabinet is just one piece, so installation is easy. Add the matching light bar for only $59. Permabilt makes it beautiful, and Builder Square makes it yours. Sometimes it isn't so easy to do what's good for you, like get enough exercise. Four, three, three, or lose a few pounds. But here's something easy and good for you. Switch to Safola, the margarine that has more beneficial polyunsaturates than even the leading corn oil margarines. And Safola has absolutely no cholesterol. 
And Cefola tastes better. Yeah, Cefola, the better tasting margarine that's better for you. An urgent message from the Mazda hotline. If you're in clearance time and factory cash allowances, be great deals on every Mazda truck. Trucks rated first in customer satisfaction. Like the thousand, dollar for dollar, the best truck buy in America. And save hundreds on the LX. It's already hundreds less than Toyota's and Nissan sport trucks. And it's luxurious inside and out. See your Mazda dealer now and save. Get a great deal at your Northwest Mazda dealer today. Set your dial to comedy every weeknight on TV 12. The fun starts at 6 when Arnold and Willis turn the Drummond household topsy-turvy on different strokes. Followed by the madcap political mayhem offensive at 6.30. And Devin makes make way for TV's most outrageous roomies on Dreams Company. While Bob Eubank sets up hilarious honeymoon humor at 7.30 on the all-new Newlywed Game. Join us for the lighter side of living every weeknight from 6 to 8 on TV 12. The one big question when it comes to trucks is who? Who gives you a powerful 2.4-liter engine? Toyota. Who gives you more standard payload than any truck in its class? Toyota. Who gives you three across seating? And who does it all for only $62.98? The 1986 Toyota standard bed is who? The number one selling small truck in America. Who else? Nobody. Who could ask for on a car. You never know when you might need brakes, shocks, alignment, a dependable battery, tires. You just never know. That's why it's good to know. Les Schwab. For over 20 years, Fred Meyer stores have been helping to bring the circus to town. And again this year, you can bring your children to see the greatest show on earth, the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. September the 17th through the 21st at Memorial Coliseum. Opening night is Fred Meyer Family Night. And we're offering our customers a discount coupon, good for $2.50 off the regular price at all Fred Meyer stores. Talk to you about exercise, not of this, but of this. From where you're sitting right now, you can put your mind to work and receive credit from community colleges. The new telecourses on your public broadcasting station. Take another look. See how to give yourself college credit without leaving your chair. Call us. Hey, Mom, what's for dinner? What would you like? Bandicam's frozen fish. Something different. Correction, very different. They taste fresh because they're frozen fresh. And they're dipped in crispy golden breadcrumbs or fresh egg batter for a taste your family will love. Remember, Mom likes something bad. No problem there, Mom. Bandicam's the freshest ideas in frozen fish. It's here, the lowest financing in Ford's history. Get 2.9% financing or up to $1,000 cash back. 2.9% on Ford Escort, 2.9% on Thunderbird, 2.9% on Mustang, 2.9% on Tempo, or get 2.9% financing on Ford trucks, 2.9% on Rangers, 2.9% on Bronco 2s, 2.9% on F-150s, and 2.9% on F-250s. So hurry, see your Northwest Ford dealer now while selections are best, because nothing comes close to Ford. The new Hyundai Excel may start a whole new kind of carpool. Because at $49.95, it's the car that will help you save enough money for a pool. Hyundai. Cars that make sense. You can have the stereo, the TV set, the nice furniture you really want today. Rent Town, USA. There's no deposit, no credit check. You rent to own at Rent Town, USA, and every penny of rent applies toward purchase. Rent Town, USA. Hey, you could have this Sony TV or this Magnavox video recorder for just $9.95 a week today. And rent to own. Rent Town, USA. The good guys deliver. You're really on the move from COVID.
coast to coast, so you need a bank that can keep pace with you. Well, only First Interstate has day and night tellers all over the West and is part of Cirrus. So you can get cash instantly, coast to coast. So come to First Interstate. We're not just keeping pace, we're setting the pace. Success in business is often a matter of being in the right place at the right time. That's why one airline in the West gives you the convenience of over 500 flights a day. PSA, with more flights more often throughout the West than any other airline. PSA, catch our smile. Fly PSA from Portland to all of California on your next business trip. That time of year again. Time to get ready for crisp fall days and time to discover the exceptional savings at Mervyn's Anniversary Sale. Trail Fleece is the jacket everyone wants. And this week, you can save on Pacific Trail jackets for all ages. Men's and women's jackets are $14.99 and $19.99. Boys' jackets just $12.99. And girls' cozy trail fleece just $11.99 and $12.99. Come celebrate quality and value at the Anniversary Sale at Mervyn's today. Lots more dishes to do and your suds fizzled out again. Think your bargain brand is really a bargain? Think again. One squeeze of an average bargain brand can clean only this many dishes. The same amount of ivory liquid cleans this many, and this many more, about twice as many. Ivory suds last longer than the bargain brand, so they clean about twice as many dishes. And that's the simple truth. Now there's something new about ivory, a new everyday low price. The same great ivory is an even better value. Mrs. Harrison, there's a phone call for you. It's your daughter. I'll take it in my office, sir. Isn't there someone you'd like to call long distance right now? Sherry, I need some advice again, Mom. Here I am, honey. I have to write about the Westchester case. Try to relax. There's so much left to say. Let me know how it's going. Hmm? Now I have some advice for you. Go home. <laughs> Don't drip. I love you, kid. Let's face it, nobody looks forward to yard work, but with McCulloch's Eager Beaver Chainsaw, you can cut yard work down to size. Builder Square has already cut the price to only $96. The McCulloch clears away brush, trims trees, and piles up the firewood. You get plenty of power, plus lots of control. All in all, there just isn't a safer chainsaw sold, and there just isn't a better price than $96. Only at Builder Square. Builder Square, a square deal that's right for you. In Boston, where all parties are not tea parties, the word around town is German. Bex. Bex, the number one imported German beer in Boston. It's the great Penn's Oil Jeep giveaway. And for 20 lucky winners, something wild is going to drive into their lives. To enter, round up the entry forms that are on every bottle of quality Penn's Oil motor oil. Or look for the Penn's Oil display for all them details. The great Penn's Oil Jeep giveaway. Enter today. And the Jeep Wrangler just might drive into your life. I guess it was the worst night of my life. Christmas Eve 1919. I used about halfway through candlelight services at church. Bill Riser, he sort of elbows my paw and he says, that's over your place, ain't it? But we look out the window and the sky's blowing. By the time we get there, the barn is gone, the feed is gone, wagons all gone. And then it happened again, my place, in 31. Of course, we had a phone in by then, and we were able to get help before it didn't get damaged to speak of. We count on that phone call, you know? Why, now my boy's got his barn wired up, so it'll call the fire department at the first sign of trouble, even if nobody's home. Really? <laughs> Shoot, you know, we gotta be careful. One of these days, that phone company's gonna make farming profitable again. <laughs> At Pacific Northwest Bell, we've always been more than operators or 911 or even fiber optics. At BMB, we've always been the future. Only on Air Cal, Jetaway Fairs. Air Cal now gives you the lowest unrestricted fares to the Bay Area. $89. Southern California, $99. Air Cal's Jetaway fares are good Saturday noon through Sunday noon only. And only on Air Cal. 
Remember, no advance purchase is required, but seats are limited, so call now. 1-800-4-AIR-CAL. We make flying easy. We're turning them loose. Sleep cats by the hundreds. It's Cougar Month at your Lincoln Mercury dealer. A perfect time to save on the stylish Cougar. Save $1,220 on the responsive XR7 when you buy an option package. Or save $600 on the Agile Cougar GS when you buy an option package. Plus, now get 2.9 annual percentage rate financing. The cats are loose. Capture one during Cougar Month. See your Lincoln Mercury dealer at the sign of the cat. Look at my face. I'm going to take off all this makeup with something you've never seen before. You take off. Velvety Claws moisture touch with special ingredients that remove makeup. Take off. That caress your skin gently. Mm, like a real face saver. There's nothing like it. Just stroke and take off lips away makeup thoroughly. Gently. Mm, take off. Even tough mascara. So tonight, try new take off makeup you remover claws and discover your face saver. State-of-the-art medical equipment. Hospitals use it to locate pain. And to help fight pain, they have a choice of pain relievers. What do they use most? Tylenol. Look. Last year, hospitals dispensed ten times as much Tylenol as the next four brands combined. Hospitals can trust Tylenol to give effective relief without the stomach irritation possible with aspirin or any other type of pain reliever. Well, if hospitals use Tylenol, shouldn't you? Tylenol. The pain reliever hospitals use most. Well, in one year, he's going to have to gain approximately 100 pounds. Peggy Helming, top breeder of champion Newfoundland. We can recommend calcium highly because we can depend on it. Calcium provides complete and balanced nutrition through every stage of their life. I was delighted to hear they put more meat in the calcium. It yields healthy coat, good muscle tone, and high energy levels. He deserves the best food that I can feed him, and I recommend calcium. New Calcan, now with even more meat. Recommended by top breeders. Musk, just a hint of it. Musk, so alluring. Musk, now there's just a touch of it in New Summer's Eve Hint of Musk. The only disposable douche that's delicately flawed with a light touch of musk. Only Summer's Eve has this one-piece flexible design for maximum comfort. And a cheddar cleansing formula that refreshes as it cleans. Alluring musk, for the first time in New Summer's Eve Hint of Musk. It refreshes as it cleans. European design, performance, value, imported for Chevrolet. The Saxon is special. Approval, 38 miles per gallon city, 42 miles highway. The Saxon is special. Reclining seats, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, fold-down seat backs and more. The Saxon is special. Spectrum, a surprising value, imported from Japan. Test drive Spectrum at your Chevrolet dealer. Smile. Kodak introduces the automatic oven to you. All you do is aim and shoot it. You put this down in. You close it, open it, and shoot it. There you go. Kodak, we are very bright. 35mm is so simple. It focuses, it dances. It rewinds by itself. Great shot. Fantastic. I can shoot a 35mm camera this one. All you do is aim and shoot it. Kodak, we are very bright. I love this camera. It's me. I read about it and I saw it on TV. Finally, it sunk in this big skull. There are things I can do that may help prevent cancer. That's what the National Cancer Institute believes. They say a high-fiber, low-fat diet may reduce the risk of some kinds of cancer. So I made some changes. Like eating all brands, the natural high-fiber cereal from Kellogg's. It's nice to know there are things I can do. Kellogg's all brands. For more facts, call the National Cancer Institute. Toll free. Burger King introduces chicken tenders, real fillets of all white meat chicken breasts, not processed white nuggets. Delicious chicken fillets cooked in pure vegetable oil. New chicken tenders from Burger King, not chicken nuggets, real chicken fillets. 
Monday, a mysterious terrorist returns from the dead to exact a murderous revenge on Scarecrow and Mrs. King. Dead men leave no trails. Monday. Wednesday on Fast Times, Brad loses his wheels. This gets out, I'll be the school joke. <laughs> Brad Hamilton on two wheels? Oh, am I hallucinating? Will his big date with Linda be a boom or a bust? That's too fresh. It's Fast Times. Hey, this is better than Breakfast Club. Wednesday at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. This is CBS. If your family can't keep their hands off your furniture, try... Favors smear resistant formula heals touches so well. If you try to right touch it on it, all you see is shine. Thank you, Favor. Touch it shine, Favor. does more than eliminate odors. Glade makes your home feel instantly fresher. Breakfast at hand with a fresh biscuit sandwich or hot egg or sausage McMuffin. It's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. Taking breakfast by the hand. Muffin works like a Chevy truck. Four tech muscle, V8 hustle. Chevy has V8s available up to a big 454 with unbeatable power and a full-size pickup. Nothing works like a Chevy truck. Here's another big hand for the working man. Now, save up to $646 in work-ready options on specially equipped Chevy C10s with available 5-liter V8. For V8 power and hundreds in savings, nothing works like a Chevy truck. This is the soft, pure light of the e soft white bulb. It creates a soft, warm glow that's beautiful to see by. And bright enough to work by with less glare and no harsh shadows. Because it's high to do with protein makes life and stuff warm and glowing. So you will see the world the way you want to see it. The soft white by GE. It puts your life in a better light. GE, we bring good things to life. Don't burn up money in today's economic climate when a divorce is as low as $68 at divorce service. Call 232-3097. The construction is finished, and our parking lot is now more convenient for our customers. My Bob Lamp here. Now is the time to buy your new Honda car. We've just received the shipment of a Ford, Prelude, and Civic, and we're dealing. We've also got a huge stretch of top quality used cars. We can give higher trade-ins and have lower prices on a tremendous selection of cars. Go away. Come in now and get your new Honda car at Beaverton Honda in downtown Beaverton. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Sugar Bakes came up upon me. Homemade candy. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We're Cinnamon and Sugar Shakers. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Bakers. Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal tastes like homemade cinnamon toast. A toasty part of this nutritious breakfast. Taking homemade taste. Tastes like homemade. It's a Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's the newest treat from Dairy Queen, the Blizzard. Specially priced this week for just $1.39, the treat's so thick you gotta spoon it up. Get a Blizzard made with a Butterfinger, a Heath Bar, cookies. The choice is yours. The 16-ounce Dairy Queen Blizzard, only $1.39 at your participating Dairy Queen stores. So tell me, now that we have this place, are you going to learn to ski or what? Get to where you want to be. Use your key. Oh, there. Hi. 
Get to where you want to be. Here we are. Use your key.